curious about things happening at the Hastings Museum, this is your gal. Peggy Tiedemann. As always. Yes. So I'm here to talk about um, some programming that we have bookending Memorial Day weekend. Mm -hmm. On that weekend, we know families have their own traditions. We want to let them keep that time. Sure. But we have a, two special films and a speaker with each um, before and after. And they are both um, really about commemorating um, mm -hmm. fallen soldiers. So the first is To What Remains. It is a documentary film um, that is about um, locating um, identifying and retrieving MIAs. Oh, wow. um, this is a documentary about the, um, the team that's called Project Recover, um, founded by Pat Scannon. Um, he's both a, an MD and a PhD, kind of combined his interest in this program. Um, but he's actually then after May 23, after that film that night, he's going to be um, answering questions on our super screen. So we're really thrilled about that. That's a really, if you've never been there for that, when we do that with a, um, a virtual speaker, mm -hmm. it's really really seamless and um, and we just think it's so appropriate. Then right after Memorial Day, June 15, um, 17, 18, 21, uh -huh. our second speaker is called Our Promise. That film is um, free. It's a one hour documentary about the 100th anniversary of the American Battle Monuments Commission. Okay. That commission takes care of all sorts of um, uh, graveyards and monuments across the world okay. where fallen so where, where U.S. soldiers are buried. Mm -hmm. Has ten commissioners nationwide, and it just so happens one of them lives in Hastings. That's interesting. Yeah, he's a former Marine who lives in Hastings. Um, used to live in the Valentine area, but is back here now. So he'll be speaking live. So wow. both of those programs, um, check them out because they're so perfect. We don't really say we celebrate Memorial Day, but right. we commemorate and we recognize it. And I think both of these opportunities are perfect for that. Exactly, and mm -hmm. that is really neat that there's that opportunity as well to have that Q&A um, with the speaker. Really neat. Yeah, we like both. Like I said, if, if it's somebody we can't get here, we'll get them here digitally on our super screen. Um, but yeah, his name's Bud Pettigrew. He's going to be with us um, in June, and we nice. love that. Yes. Yeah. And then other things that are coming up, um, can't miss the fact that, you know, summer is now pretty much here for kids. Absolutely. So summer fun, those are filling up spot. And we're very happy to tell you there's still scholarships available. Oh, good. So really think about that. Also, if your kids are older, we're still taking volunteers. There's nothing a five-year-old likes more than following a 14-year-old around. Sure, so, yeah. Um, yeah. Then this um, Friday at 630 is our last free walking tour of University Avenue. Okay. We meet at the flagpole in front of Memorial Chapel. Um, this Saturday, 11 to noon is free solar observing and then our seasonal exhibit Aliento Tequila ends in one week so May oh, 25 wow. is your last chance to see that. Very nice so and like you said um, the it, observing was free. The yes, yeah, solar observing solar, is, as is that walking tour. Yeah. So come on out. All right, lots of great things, and people can find that information on your website as well, right, Absolutely, Becky? HastingsMuseum.org. All right, perfect. Well, thanks so much. Lots of fun stuff happening, and again, people can still um, get into some of those kids' cl classes. Absolutely. Perfect. All right, thanks so much, Becky. You bet. Stick with us. Your forecast next.